guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a video on something that I get questions about quite often and that's how do you keep your house so clean people will ask me do I have a cleaner do I have a maid no I do not have anything like that I clean the house myself with the help of my husband because he is a big help but no we do not have a maid we do not have a cleaner we don't have anything like that I actually clean every single day there's not a day that goes by that I do not clean something and it's just because I personally like to be in a clean space I work better in a clean space and because I'm constantly in my space because I live here and I work here it is important for me to make sure that things are always nice and clean because I just can't really function when stuff is just cluttered or it's dirty or anything like that like literally if I have a video to do and the house is a mess I won't I won't do the video I will clean first and then I'll do the video because there's just something in my mind that just won't let me focus on doing the video if the house is a mess I know crazy total craziness but that's just the way that my mind works but I do have some tips that I think will be helpful for you guys it's just things that I like to do that I feel really just make my house look clean even when it's not the cleanest and it just helps it not be overwhelming to clean whenever I'm ready to do like a deep clean so yeah I just wanted to give you guys some tips on what works for me as far as keeping my house clean and making it look clean so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it so the first tip I have for you guys is to make your bed daily and this is something that's really simple it's going to take less than five minutes to do but once you do it you will feel a level of accomplishment and it will help lead to other good habits so once you get into habit of making your bed then you'll crave a little bit more organization and it will help you kind of pinpoint the other things in your bedroom that are out of place I know once my bed is made I start to notice maybe if I have extra stuff on my nightstand or maybe if there's clothes on the bench at the end of the bed and it just really helps me go ahead and pick those things up so the rest of my room looks nice and clean so if you're a person who doesn't make your bed up on the daily I want to challenge you to try to make it up every day for a week and it will definitely just help give you a cleaner bedroom overall Next tip I have for you guys is to declutter your countertops. Um, making sure that you have all of the junk off the top of your bathroom counters and your kitchen counter just makes your house look that much cleaner. So I've come up with an organization system that really has helped me be able to keep everything off my counters. So I do this for my bathroom counters and then also for my kitchen. I just like to make sure that everything is put away and that it's nothing out. And when you keep your countertops decluttered, it makes everything everything just looks so much more organized and you'll also be able to notice when something's there that's not supposed to be there and you'll be quick to go ahead and put it where it goes. So my next tip is to sweep or vacuum high traffic areas daily. So this is definitely a must for me. Our kitchen is a very high traffic area. So I always vacuum it every single day and it literally takes less than five minutes to do it, especially with the vacuum cleaner because it just gets everything up really quickly. But I just like to make sure that I'm doing this on a daily basis because if the floors look nice and clean, then it just gives the room an overall look of being clean as well. So this is just something that I've got into the habit of doing I normally do the kitchen the living room this clay area of Uriah's every day because those are the areas that we're mainly in and it's just something simple that you can do that's really going to help your house just look cleaner overall and if you don't have a cordless vacuum cleaner I highly 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 recommend one I use the Dyson but there's so many different ones that are more affordable if you don't really want to spend the coin on that but just having some type of cordless vacuum cleaner is so convenient because it's it's going to get everything up so quickly.
So the next tip I have for you guys is to clean your dishes after dinner. Pretty much clean the kitchen. This is something that took me a while to kind of get the hang of and just to kind of get used to, but it makes all the difference because once you clean the kitchen at night, you wake up to a clean kitchen and there is no better feeling than waking up and having no dishes in the sink and everything just being nice, clean, and put away. So I always like to go ahead and either wash my dishes by hand or put them in the dishwasher. And then say for instance, after dinner I don't have a full load I still go ahead and put the dishes in the dishwasher and then the next morning when we have breakfast I just put our dishes from breakfast into the dishwasher and then go ahead and turn it on and have a load from there so yeah that's just something that I like to do to go ahead and get the dishes out the way and just have the kitchen looking really nice and clean Next thing I would recommend is wiping your countertops down on a daily basis. So even on the days that you don't cook, you're probably using your counter. It's where you drop your mail. It's where you're gonna be waiting for your coffee. It's where you unpack the groceries. The countertops take a lot of abuse. So it's always great to make sure that you're giving them a nice wipe down. And I just like to use a non-abrasive um, cleaner on mine because I do have marble and it's absolutely gorgeous, but you guys know that it's very easy to scratch it and stain. So for a daily clean, I just like to use something that's non-abrasive and when I'm doing a deeper clean, I will use something that's made specifically for marble. One thing that's gonna make your home look a little bit cleaner and just prevent clutter is getting rid of junk mail immediately. This is something that can pile up and pile up. So what I like to do is as soon as I get the mail every single day, I go through it and if it's something that's junk or that we just you know don't want, magazines, anything like that, I like to go ahead and rip it up, put it in a shredder, or go ahead and throw it in the trash just to get it out of the house because if you leave it and say you're gonna do it later, then it ends up piling up and just causing clutter. So my next tip is for those of you who have kids that still play with toys, I would recommend cleaning up the toys every single night and I know it seems like it doesn't make sense because they're just going to come back and pull all the toys out and have it back dirty but I just like to give everything a really good clean down or wipe down because I know with Uriah sometimes he'll have a snack in his play area so I just have to clean off his table and wipe his toys down and just kind of pick everything up and put it back in its place and I guess it really depends on where your play area is for your kid ours is in the kitchen area so you can see it every single day so I just like for it to be nice and clean and just for it to look neat whenever I wake up the next morning. All right guys, so that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then be sure to give it a big a thumbs up and let me know what type of cleaning videos you would like to see from me next, whether it's like my daily cleaning routine, like if you just wanna see everything that I do every single day, um, maybe some of my favorite cleaning supplies, anything like that that you want to see from me, then leave a comment below and let me know because this year I'm definitely going to do more cleaning videos for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and as always, I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye!